Welcome to a botanist react to this video because I think it is just wrong. So not everything in this is wrong, but a lot of it is. So here we've got a tree and they just slice a piece of bark. Now this is kind of like um, air layering. So normally what happens is you would actually strip off all of the bark around here. You'd go all the way around and you would basically just have just a little layer right here where the bark goes and basically where you've just got bare wood. So they show you putting a plastic bag on, fill it full of water, and we zip tie it to the branch. And then magically we take it back off and it's got this huge root on it. And what makes me suspicious of this, it's coming out of the outside of the bark. It really shouldn't come from the bark at all. It's super huge. Typically, if you're going to get something that's rooting, um, usually the roots will end up white and they'll just kind of be in a big cluster and they'll be coming out. This really looks like they went out, dug up some roots, and stuck it to this thing. And I could be wrong. Maybe it's real and they forgot about it for a really long time. But I don't think so. I'm pretty sure, and I've seen enough of these videos where they you can tell somebody just picks a root and then sticks it to it. It's like, oh, look, it rooted. And I've never seen one actually grow from the bark, especially from the outside. It really should come from the... Um, the bark interface like somewhere up here like down here like I I don't think that's gonna work I don't think that's real I think they fake that because then they switch to a totally different tree and then they switch to a different tree again now this part right here what they're doing is actually at least mostly right so they basically just cut these to be about the same diameter They've got the buds facing the right way, but they should have cut off the rest of this down here. Like, you really shouldn't leave any of this on here. It's kind of got a lot of the side branches, more than what you would want to use for a um, for an actual rootstock. And who knows what this rootstock is, either? Now, this one's really wrong. So, you can see here, they've just taken this cyan, this piece right here, and they stuck it in the middle. That will not work. That is never going to work because this is xylem in here and xylem is dead at maturity. So you have to have it so it's gonna grow in line with the vascular cambium. So how you could make this work is if you put your cyan wood either down here and it was in contact with the vascular cambium here, just under the bark, or you had it up here and you had it in contact with the vascular cambium up here. So if you slid this either this way or this way, it would work. But as they've got it, it will not work. That tree is not going to grow. Because if you don't have contact with the vascular cambium, that is the basic principle of grafting. If you don't have vascular cambium contact, grafting is not going to work. So they wrap that up. It's not going to grow. This is even worse. Because now we've drilled a hole in the middle of the xylem. This xylem may even be non-functional. So this is like a total waste of time. Like This is not going to grow. So yeah, you learn something new every day, how to not graft things. Do not graft this way. It will not work. Wasting your time. That is never going to work. Guaranteed. Now this last one, they actually do something that's reasonably appropriate. So this is a technique called bark grafting. Now the only thing I would fault with this is they just wrap um, the stems, and I would definitely, uh, I would definitely coat this with something, just because you don't want these to dry out. Uh, it looks pretty good otherwise. Also, because this is clear, this might heat up quite a bit. Um, how I was taught to do this, or at least I actually learned from actual correct YouTube videos, is you paint this whole thing with a pruning sealer, and if it's dark in color, you actually paint the whole thing with with white paint, with dilute white paint. So that's what I did, and I actually got some of mine to work last year. So it's, it's close, that's pretty close, but the rest of them are not very good.